Hello students, welcome to Achievers Academy. So today onwards we are going to discuss one of the most most important area in our upcoming competitive examinations and this area is not just important as at the same time it is very interesting as well. So the area in fact whoever begins the competitive exam preparation they will initially open the books of a subject called Indian polity okay so but uh, polity is not been discussed by me but uh, extended form of Indian polity once you get perfection in Indian polity another important area you will have to cover up and this is such an area which you see in your day-to-day -day activity after your selection means once you get selected in any competitive examination you will be a part of this setup you will be part of this particular subject and it is visible to you in your day-to-day -day life for example if you speak about the subjects like history or geography or uh, current affair or something else that might be or might not be visible to you but this is such a subject which you can see enjoy and even work being a part of that particular setup so without wasting any time let me um, introduce about myself i am shravan kumar samrani masters in political sciences and a bachelor from nit rajasthan and today we are going to begin with the most important area called governance okay so governance is such a subject as i have said which you will see or you will experience you will visualize that in your regular routine as such okay so i am presenting this particular lecture series in front of you on behalf of achievers academy so let me first of all give you all the insights what exactly is governance or what are we actually going to do as a part of this particular module or this particular subject okay guys so first of all you might have heard of certain terms like government you might have heard a term called government now the question arises what is the difference between government and governance what is the difference between government and governance so this particular question raises in each and every one of your mind I am absolutely sure about that okay so children look sorry what do you mean by government if you go with the literal translation government means it is a particular setup government means it is a particular setup okay and whenever we speak about the governance governance is nothing but it is the way of ruling people or we can also say it is the way of delivering administration we can also say it is a way of delivering the administration just understand with I'll, I'll take one example for you if suppose I am speaking about the idea of government what did I say in Japan Nikola it is a setup it is a setup what kind of a setup See, again you need to go back to your basics of polity okay in your polity you might have uh, uh, studied or you might have read about the pillars of the constitution okay you might have studied about the pillars of constitution first of all what do you mean by constitution guys constitution is nothing but it is the fundamental law book of any country what I said fundamental law book of any country constitution so when I say constitution is nothing but the fundamental law book of any country not just India be it for any USA be it for Britain be it for Japan be it for UK whatever the country it is a fundamental law book okay so meaning is that there is no book there is no book higher than the 
constitution there is no other book which is greater or higher than the constitution of india okay so this constitution specifies that there are actually three pillars in the constitution clear the same constitution does specify there are how many pillars three pillars in the constitution okay so what are the three pillars the three pillars mentioned in the constitution or which we see are first one is what we call it as legislature okay the second one is what we call it as executive and the third one is what is known as judiciary what i said ma legislature executive and judiciary are the three pillars of the constitution i am taking all the roots i am going back to your basics of polity meer polity lo em em chadukunaro dani okka sar revise chestu i am taking you to the subject governance okay just understand legislature is such a body which is empowered to make laws what is the purpose of legislature it is to make a law what is the purpose of executive it is to implement the laws what is the purpose of executive it is to implement the laws and what is the purpose of judiciary judiciary is something which is going to interpret the law which is going to interpret the law meaning is that kotta chattalu kotta laws ఫ్రేమ్ చేసేది ఎవరు అని అంటే దట్ ఈస్ ద లెజిస్లేచర్ ద సిమిలర్ లాస్ ని ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ చేసేది ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేసేది ఎవరు ఎవరు అంటే ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ అండ్ ఆ చట్టాలు సరిగ్గా అమలు అవుతున్నాయా లేదా వెదర్ ద లాస్ ఆర్ ప్రాపర్లీ ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఆ చెక్ చేసేది ఎవరు అని అంటే దట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు బి డన్ బై జుడిషియల్ ఎవరు చేస్తారా పని జుడిషియల్ ఓకే సో హియర్ లెజిస్లేచర్ క్యాన్ బి ఆఫ్ టూ టైప్స్ యూనియన్ లెజిస్లేచర్ అండ్ స్టేట్ లెజిస్లేచర్ similarly executive can also be of two types clear union executive and state executive now judiciary we cannot say that we are divided in judicial system meaning is that we don't have union judiciary we don't have state judiciary matlab separate nahi hai dono the both of them are not separated by each other we do not have a separate supreme court for andhra or telangana andhra telangana ki pratyekanga supreme court aithe ledhu kani em untadi manaku high court untadi high court ati pedda kota apex kota kaadu high court ku minchina nyayasthanam minchina twenty oka court kuda mana deshamlo undi dani em antama manam supreme court andukosame mana judicial system ni manam em antam ante integrated judicial system what do we call ma our judicial system is known as the integrated judicial system we don't have union judiciary as well as we don't have state judiciary meaning is that both of them are actually not separated by each other now just understand one thing here union legislature is nothing but the parliament state legislature is nothing but the assembly and council and all those stuff which you would study in your polity okay but i am very much interested in knowing from you something known as the executive setup clear uh, executive setup is very very important in uh, uh, understanding or taking you to the subject governance okay so as i have said executive we have two things union executive and state executive union executive is headed by the president of india state executive is headed by the governor of the state state executive shall be headed by governor of the state union executive by the president of india below the president of india rashtrapati kinda we have something called council of ministers we have something called council of ministers and here as well below the governor also we have council of ministers ikkada kuda manake em untundi mantri mandali that is called council of ministers but here the council of ministers at the center are headed by the prime minister while in the state the council of ministers are headed by the chief minister in the state council of ministers are seen headed by whom the chief minister okay 
so just understand one thing very very carefully if you speak about the judiciary for time being we can keep the judiciary aside ko this is a judiciary nyay vyavastha nu pakkan pettetam in fact uh, judiciary will be looking like this supreme court at the top below that we have high court below that we have district court likewise we'll have the judicial setup okay so what i am trying to say is keep judiciary apart from for some time and also keep this legislature part also aside for some time okay ee renditini kuda kodde sepu pakkana pedtam okay now just understand i am very much interested here to speak about the second pillar here rendava stambham gurinchi maatladadaniki naaku chaala interest undi that is what i said executive what is the purpose of executive i said executive yokka purpose endante it is to implement the laws okay implement the laws what i said in the executive we will be having the president we will be having the council of ministers and these council of ministers are headed by the prime minister and within the union executive only we will also be having some other officials also such as attorney general like we have cag that is comptroller and auditor general and we have central government employees okay central government employees kendra prabhutva udyogulu similarly in the state level i said we have governor below that we have council of ministers and these council of ministers are headed by chief minister and here to uh, we will be having in the state something called the office of advocate general attorney general and advocate general are the legal advisor and the lawyers of the central and state governments attorney general is the lawyer of the central government advocate general is the lawyer of the state government wherever the government is stuck in any case ekkada ye case lo chikkukunna rashtram tarapuna vadinche nyayavadi advocate general kendram tarapuna vadinche nyayavadi attorney general the person to fight on behalf of union and state governments are called attorney general as well as the advocate general okay so with that we will be having the cag who audits the state government accounts also that is the comptroller and auditor general what is the purpose purpose of comptroller and auditor general is to audit the account whether the fundings whether the government revenues are being properly spent or not prabhutvam kharchu pedutunna prati rupai sakramanga kharchu pedutunnara leda dani visleshinchadu dani parishilinchadaniki we have an office call comptroller and auditor general and ikkada we have central government employees here we will be having what ma state government employees ikkada evaru untaru state government employees now just understand the clarity which you need to get here ikkada meeku oka point meeku andarki kuda artham ayi pol guys see what i said the second most important pillar is called executive this is fine okay ikkada nenu em cheppinam if suppose you speak about the 2014 elections clear 2014 elections ennikal jarigina deshamlo 2014 nda formed the government that is the bjp formed the government okay let us speak suppose of the year 2009 let us speak about the year 2009 here upa formed the government UPA formed the government okay now UPA formed the government in 2009 and in 2014 NDA formed the government ante idi Indian National Congress here BJP is here BJP ante Bharatiya Janata Party okay chala careful ga vinala be it Congress formed the government or be it NDA formed the government ikkada BJP government form chesina ledante NDA government form chesina kuda the setup president council of minister headed by prime minister attorney comptroller central government employees will this structure differ or it be the same ee structure anadi maarutunda alagene untuda ante ikkada nenu em cheptunnanu what i am saying here beat bjp from the government with upa from the government clear beat bjp from the government with congress from the government manmohan singh was a part of this structure right now narendra modi is also a part of this structure yes or no 
ప్రభుత్వం ఎవరు ఏర్పాటు చేసిన ప్రధానమంత్రి ఎవరు అయినా వాళ్ళంతా కూడా పోయి ఈ స్ట్రక్చర్లోనే భాగం అవ్వాలి ఎస్ ఆర్ నో ఎస్ ఇట్ ఇస్ సో వెన్ ఐ సే బీట్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ బీట్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ఫార్మ్ బై ఎనీ పొలిటికల్ పార్టీ దే షుడ్ బీ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ ఎస్ సో అదే మీకు ఇక్కడ అర్థం కావాలి ఇక్కడ we will say we will say in 2014 bjp formed the government emanta manamu bjp prabhutvanni erpaatu chesindi antam again in the year 2009 we have said congress formed the government emantamo congress prabhutvanni erpaatu chesindi ani cheppi cheptam are you getting this what i am saying bjp formed the government and congress formed the government kani never we will say that bjp formed the governance or congress formed the governance <laughs> okay kindly understand very very carefully you should understand this point ikkada ee logic ee technique meek ardham ayindante almost the uh, further steps or the further discussions will be crystal clear and a cake walk for you chaala sulabhangane mee andarki kuda ardham ayipothu untadi jagratha ga vinala 2009 samvatsaramlo in the year 2009 congress formed the government yes or no yes it is 2009 lo congress party adhikaramlo kochindi congress party ప్రభుత్వాన్ని ఏర్పాటు చేసినది కానీ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద ల్యాక్ ఆఫ్ గవర్నెన్స్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద ల్యాక్ ఆఫ్ గవర్నెన్స్ పాలన పరిపాలన ఈ రెండు కూడా సక్రమంగా లేవు కాబట్టి ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఎన్డిఏ ఫార్మ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ అండ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రాపర్ గవర్నెన్స్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రాపర్ గవర్నెన్స్ ద సేమ్ ఎన్డిఏ హ్యావ్ బీన్ పవర్ఫుల్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ పవర్ఫుల్ ఇన్ గెయింగ్ ద పవర్ అగైన్ ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ రెండు వేల పంతొమ్మిదిలో కూడా ఎన్డిఏ పార్టీ అధికారంలోకి రావడానికి గల కారణం గవర్నెన్స్ దో గవర్నమెంట్ డస్ నాట్ డిఫర్ గవర్నమెంట్ రిమైన్స్ ద సేమ్ బట్ ద గవర్నెన్స్ చేంజెస్ గవర్నెన్స్ అంటే ప్రజలకు చేరువయ్యేదానికి మనము ఊసి మనము ఆశించేటటువంటి ఒక పాలన విధానము ఇట్ ఈస్ ద వే ఆఫ్ రూలింగ్ పీపుల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద వే ఆఫ్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద వే అండ్ మెకానిజమ్స్ టు రీచ్ ద పబ్లిక్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ వాట్ గవర్నెన్స్ ఓకే సో because if suppose they form the government there is a statement given if suppose they form the government any political party if they form the government with, with the government they should have a governance suppose i am forming the government today i am narendra modi i'll be a part of this structure i'll be a part of this setup but being a part of this setup does not give me once again chance one more chance ee part lo nenu bhagamaina nan cheppi nobody will give me another chance but a chance shall be given to me naaku inkoka sari adhikaram cheppatadaniki avakasham eppudu istharu anante when i implement my motive when my, when i implement my promises when i properly do governance ఓకే నా సో గవర్నెన్స్ అంటే అందుకోసమే ఇంతకుముందు ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ వెరీ వెరీ స్పెసిఫిక్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ గవర్నెన్స్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద వే ఆఫ్ రూలింగ్ ద పీపుల్ గవర్నెన్స్ ఈస్ ద వే ఆఫ్ రూలింగ్ ద పీపుల్ అండ్ వే ఆఫ్ డెలివరింగ్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద వే ఆఫ్ డెలివరింగ్ ద వాట్ ఐ సెట్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ వాట్ గవర్నెన్స్ ఓకే గైస్ so i hope this particular difference is coming very very clear to all of you government and governance now we have one another term okay we have one more term here okay we have the term like administration we have the term called administration again the point has to be noted carefully by all of you who will be the part of administration clear administration lo part ga evar untaru the bureaucrats clear the bureaucrats ante officials antamo okay the government staff 
స్టాఫ్ ఉంటారు వాళ్ళు కూడా ఈ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్లో పాలనలో ఒక భాగంగా సారీ మనం చెప్పుకోవచ్చు విత్ దాట్ ఎనీ అదర్ రిక్రూట్మెంట్స్ డన్ బై ద గవర్నమెంట్ they will also be a part of administration in fact post your selection me examination me rai by that 20 pariksha tarvata me selection ayinaka meer kuda ee administration lo bhagame you are also the part of administration recent times lo meer vintu untaru you will be hearing uh, uh, these words from the honorable chief minister of andhra pradesh andhra pradesh lo oka oka vyavastham iskonochinam గ్రామ వాలంటీర్ల వ్యవస్థ ఓకే ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అబ్రాడ్ విలేజ్ వాలంటీర్స్ గ్రామ వాలంటీర్లు గ్రామ సచివాలయాల వ్యవస్థ అని ఒక వ్యవస్థను తీసుకొచ్చినారు దాంట్లో ఏమైతుంది గ్రామ వాలంటీర్లు కానీ గ్రామ సచివాలయంలో ఉన్నటువంటి సిబ్బంది కానీ వాట్ దే ఆర్ డూయింగ్ దే ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ద ప్రామిసెస్ డన్ బై ద ఆనరబుల్ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ టు ద పబ్లిక్ మీనింగ్ ఈస్ they are being a part of governance they are being a part of what governance okay telangana rashtram lo they have uh, started a scheme for example intinti survey corona times lo they have been doing the intinti survey intinti survey ante whether the some uh, fever survey gaani ledante cold survey gaani whatever uh, uh, the telangana mm. government have been doing what is the motive behind motive behind is to know how many are having um, how many how much percentage of the population are feeling sick or something like that so you can add them call me what you need to understand that it is the mode of delivering some mechanism or the government's agenda to the public in telangana it is the mode of develop, uh, delivering the uh, uh, administration to the people of andhra pradesh it differs jagan mohan reddy and k chandrasekhar rao both are not the same their way of administration their way of governance differs but the agenda shall be remained the same that is what welfare of the people what is that welfare of the people here if telangana is forming new districts kotta jilla lo erpa cheste kotta collector lo kotta director lo kotta hod lo itvanti vanni kuda aa jilla lo osthe అలాగనే ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ కూడా దే హ్యావ్ ఫామ్ ద న్యూ న్యూ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్స్ ప్రతి పార్లమెంట్ కాన్స్టిట్యున్సీ కూడా దే హ్యావ్ ఫామ్ ద న్యూ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ మీనింగ్ దే విల్ ఆల్సో గెట్ అ న్యూ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ కలెక్టర్ దే విల్ ఆల్సో గెట్ అ న్యూ హెచ్ఓడీస్ దే విల్ ఆల్సో గెట్ ద న్యూ డైరెక్టర్స్ దే విల్ ఆల్సో గెట్ ద న్యూ స్టాఫ్ ఫర్ అ పర్టికులర్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ లైక్ వైస్ ఇఫ్ వీ స్పీక్ అబౌట్ దిస్ పర్సోనల్ వట్ ఐ సైడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ స్పీక్ అబౌట్ దిస్ పర్సోనల్ 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 మీన్స్ పర్సనల్ అంటే ఏంది పర్సనల్ అంటే ఇట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద స్టాఫ్ పర్సనల్ మీన్స్ వాట్ మా ఇట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ స్టాఫ్ ఓకే సో వాళ్ళందరూ కూడా దే ఆర్ ఆల్ ద పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్ ద పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్ ద పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ సో దెర్ ఈస్ అ మ్యూచువల్ కనెక్ట్ ఆర్ అ రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ గవర్నమెంట్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ అండ్ గవర్నెన్స్ ఓకే so if i can um, uh, make it clear for you now what i said government what i said it is fixed government what i said ma it is fixed next we have said what administration 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 it is also called what part of the government it is called what ma part of the government next with the proper coordination with the proper coordination among these two ante government and administration if they deliver a proper coordination then we deliver what governance we deliver what governance we deliver the here some uh, concept known as the governance i hope this particular point is coming very very clear to all of you what is government what is administration and what is the governance okay so speaking about all these topics let me first of all again uh, take back to the basics what i said there are three pillars in the constitution legislature executive and judicial 
okay though judiciary may be a part of it legislature may be a part of it but directly we are going to count directly we are going to count the setup of the setup of the executive to be represented more in governance okay so what i said if the pub, if 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 uh, i if i am contesting for the post of prime minister pradhan mantri ki nenu poti chestunanu anante meaning i may win the election nenu election lo win avvachu meaning the time people are trusting me people are trusting me prajala na paina namaka munchutunnaru and next time also if i wanted to form the government then malla prabhutvam adhikaram lok teeskon raavali ani anukunte along with the trust along with the trust i need to deliver proper governance i need to deliver a good governance good governance ante enti superipalana meaning is the government the governance which is according to the whims and fancies of the public ప్రజలు ఆశించిన విధంగా ప్రజలు ఆశయాల విధంగా మనము చేసే పరిపాలననే వీ కాల్ ఇట్ ఎస్ ఫార్ మా గుడ్ గవర్నెన్స్ ఆల్ టుగెదర్ ఓకే సో ఐ హోప్ దట్ బేసిక్ డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ గవర్నెన్స్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ వెరీ వెరీ క్లియర్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ ద డెఫినేషన్స్ వట్ ఎవర్ ఈ సెట్ బై యునైటెడ్ నేషన్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ వట్ ఎవర్ సెట్ బై వరల్డ్ బ్యాంక్ ఎవ్రీ సింగిల్ డెఫినేషన్ ఐ విల్ బీ కోటింగ్ టు యూ ఇన్ ద అప్కమింగ్ సెషన్స్ ఓన్లీ వీ హ్యావ్ డిఫైన్ గవర్నెన్స్ ఇన్ ద లేమ్ అండ్ టర్మ్ హియర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ